Hello my friends and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. In our last video, we did pause mid-mission on my last boy. It says that Eagle Flies rides into Beaver Hollow to rally support for a final attack on Cornwall, Kerosene, and Tar against Rain's Falls Witches. Dutch and the gang accompany Eagle Flies into battle against the army. We, we did follow him into battle and um well let, let's see how all this is going to end <laughs> dutch is very ever so impatiently waiting on us to to come over to him so good of you to join us hello son hey saved your life he did hey, you're quite the hero arthur ain't you just a regular good guy same as always yeah what dutch. is it with you arthur what's it with what you is? i don't get you I don't get you no more oh the doubting the doubting Come on, get him out of here, all of you. Come on, let's go finish things. Finish what? Uh, the doubts. You know why I wanted them to attack this place? I have no idea. Uh, Javier, you get them and you go. Until I find all my men. I'm not leaving. As you wish. Rest of you, get out of here. I'm staying with you. We're getting our ticket out of here. Which is what? Exactly. We need to find the office. Hang on, I it's need to- It's upstairs, on the other side. I broke in here before to get those papers for Eagle Flies. That's better, Arthur. A little help. Come on, son. What are we looking for? Money, you fool. The money. There's state bonds here. Lots of them. Are I you thought you were sure? paying attention. Old Cornwall had a deal with the state. He was being paid to develop the region. Against okay. the federal government's wishes, as they didn't want problems with the Indians. Anyway, so we get it, and we're done? We're almost free? Yes. If we're right. Which we We've really tough are. Times, the toughest of times. But come on. Don't doubt me no more. I'm gonna, I'm gonna doubt you a lot because that's what I'm good at. <laughs> First place. They gotta be here somewhere. I don't know. I've been here before. Check that cupboard by the door. Okay. Medicine chest. I don't think it's gonna be in here. But I'll take a potent health care. Thank you. Billfold? I'll take some money, I guess. <laughs> I mean, Here's why not? Cash. $23? $32? I got him. I got him. I got him. This is it. It's safe bonds. How much? It's a, a few thousand dollars worth. Maybe more. <laughs> oh, we are nearly there. Arthur, we're nearly there. Mr. Morgan? Let's go Just home. the one? Let's get out of here, Arthur. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get out my gun. <laughs> Just the one bond, sorry. That's all I'm thinking about. Did you hear that? Gentlemen, we're here for you. Your friend? Get in there. Shoot him. Find him. Now. Come on. Come on, Arthur. We have got to get out of here. You 
silly fool! Come on! You saved my life more than once. To give mine for yours, it's as it should be. Come on! We need to go. You. You ran away. Oh, I did no such thing. Yes, you Don't did. Don't be a fool. They could be back here any minute. We did it, gentlemen. Well, we got some money. And with the train job, well, we got a whole lot of money. Come on. Everything is coming together. Exactly as I planned. I've got to take the boy to his father. As you wish. Usually he is nowadays. Sure. <clears throat> Come on! We gotta get back to camp and prepare. Let's ride! I'll be back when I can. I'll stay with you. And me, of course. And so will I. No, get out of here. Please. This ain't gonna be nothing nice. Be safe, Arthur. That was the the graphics were really weird there for a second. The the people versus the background did not match. That was that was weird. <laughs> All right, come on. Let's get him to what PT as fast as we can. Yeah. I don't want him to Hold die. Hold on, my friend. Our men. Uh, we must go back for the bodies. Not right now. We will. Save your strength. My friend, I'm sorry. About this. About all of this. You have nothing to be sorry for. You know, Dutch. Dutch is... I guess my thinking is he used you. He did. He wasn't trying to help anyone but himself and his own crazy principles. We're grown men. Nobody made us do anything. Maybe I'm talking for my people as much as for yours. We saw he turned crazy and we couldn't believe it and we followed him anyway. anyway. Yeah. They should never have gone this far. You seen the situation on the reservation? Better to die fighting than sick and weak. Maybe, but you... Your people deserve better. Yeah. You okay, Charles? Not really. All this death, and for what? Exactly. Just so we can have enough money to be able to run away from what we've done? There used to be some... Some reason to it. Lines that couldn't be crossed. Mm -hmm. We even helped some folk. Those lines have been gone for some time now. The time has come for us to draw our own lines, Arthur. Decide where we go from here. I swear, back there, Dutch just stood and watched. If it wasn't for Eagle Flies, I'd be... I know. I feel like he's descended into the kind of man he told us never to be. Maybe. He's just become more who he really is. Yeah, maybe. I don't know anymore. I just feel like a fool. That money, those bonds, whatever it is, I don't want a cent. There's too much blood on it. Let's just get this boy to his father. Yep. Your friend here, my friend, he's a brave man. Fearless. Always has been. This won't be in vain. We will try to round up more men from the north. Wherever we can, many are ready to fight. It won't be enough. No, this is over for all of us. It should be. You yeah. stopped. I stopped because I was listening to a conversation. I'm sorry. It's the chief's son. I think he's been shot. Oh no, he is wounded. I would, I would go faster if the game would let me, but it won't. <laughs> oh, I don't want him to die. Bring him to me.
My son. What are you gonna do now? We must move. And fast. Mm -hmm. I'll stay and help them. Yeah, I'll stay too. No, my friend. You have others who need you. Good people. I'm sorry, but we... We must pack and move. You saved us when we needed saving. Oh, they're the... Now we save you, but... but. illness is progressing way faster than I would expect. A silver, when you take, when you do work for the gang, half the take is set aside. Yeah, I know. Okay. A silver. I saved Penta! <laughs> I know. I didn't get 30 headshots. 80% accuracy? I'm awesome. <laughs> Complete the mission without taking any health items. I did, because I went to cover quite a bit. It was the... The German family who we helped a million and one years ago when we were relocating. When we were relocating. Not to. Not to the one over here. Not to Shady Bell, but the other one. Um, Clemens Point. Remember, we went on a fishing trip with Hosea and Dutch, and things were. Things were better back then, right? But. Okay, well. That happened. I'm so sad that Eagle Flies died. I really hoped, I really, really had hoped that he'd be okay. Um, that's really, that just really, that makes me sad. Okay, well, let me look at my journal and get caught up on that a little bit before we move on to another quest. I feel like I read this page. Yes. And Fort Wallace. Great picture. I went with Charles to save eagle flies. They was going to hang him, I think. Rescued him out from Fort Wallace in a storm. I don't feel so good. I see clearly, and I see nothing at all. Whole place has gone to hell. Dutch talking nonsense and folk undecided as to if they see him as the only hope or an anchor dragging us all to the bottom of the ocean. I hope John has more brains in his head than sometimes I fear he does. I should have, I should have, well, it's a bit late for regrets. There's a whole lot I should have done, and even more I shouldn't have done. But I suppose every man has enough regrets as to let him die happy. Just hope I did some good once I learned to see 
The world for what it was ain't my fault. The process took quite as long as it did. Oh, Mary, be happy. Please be happy. Tilly, Mary, Beth, and save Karen if she ain't gone too far. Oh, so sad. Wild Mint. John, protect Abigail and Jack. Rains falls. Save your son as you could. Not save your people. That didn't work out. And Dutch, start listening to them as really loved you. <sighs> Saw the Downs kid being beaten up, so helped him. Maybe I shouldn't have killed his poor father if I cared so goddamn much. But a conflicted fool I've become, or have always been. Then I tried to rescue his mother, who was in the process of getting herself murdered. Maybe she wanted that, I don't know. She looked at me like I am what I am. A killer seeking out salvation, only I'm not. I don't want saving, I don't deserve it. I just want to help a few folk. And sure as shit, I owe her. Felt, so felt like a fraud and a fool, but at least I did something. Hanging Dog Ranch with Sadie. So we saw Como Driscoll swing and did we did the law's job for them as his boys were lined up to spring him, but we dealt with them. Dutch back to being himself, at least for a moment. Sadie like a dog with a bone, although she ain't done with them yet, I don't imagine. Wonder if this will calm Dutch down and we can get back to surviving ourselves rather than just killing them we despise. I didn't feel too much. Bastard wanted to kill me, but he didn't want to do that much and I guess I felt about the same he weren't ever exactly my fight really and now my fight is real different with a different enemy one I cannot see not put a bullet into him and his boys were was our fault all right but we did but did we ever exist or were we just a group of individuals each just falling for Dutch's dumb bluster I feel like I don't know anything I feel like I don't know nothing anymore. Oh, it's real good. That whole life of certainty's over. My whole code that I lived and killed by. Was it true or was there a bigger truth I was too dumb to ever see? Oh, Arthur. You're getting real philosophical and, and sad. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Okay. Okay, let's see. I do need to head back to Beaver Hollow. And we need to work on Dutch's quest. Our best selves. This looks like a train back here, so train robbery. He's gonna leave us all to die. <laughs> and just take the money for himself. That's what's gonna happen, isn't it? I just, I, I'm very, oh, I'm very, very, very upset by all everything that's going on. I can't believe Dutch left Arthur. Like, I knew they weren't getting along, but dang. And then to... Like the feels the matter with you? Zero, uh, excuse me, zero guilt know, man, about Rain's Falls and and all of the Wapiti people just using them. It's it's just he's just so awful, Dutch. Micah and Bill and Javier and be not unkind. Help the blind. Okay, I can help I can a help. blind man. Sure. Okay, here you are. Get back my karma from Be shooting warm, horses. Sir. Do not slumber too deeply, for the man with no nose is coming for you. Okay, I will try to bear that in mind. No nose? Death? I'm like a pretty sure I'm death. I'm sure you've me. got better things to do than follow a lame blind man around. Yeah, probably. Like, I'm pretty sure death has no nose. Like, all those figures of death. Because I'm trying to think, I don't know of any other character in the game that we've run into that has no nose. Okay. Um, not too far away. I do want to hop over here a little bit out of the way. And read, and read some articles from my newspaper. I can push the wrap button. Maybe, maybe there we go. We are on the right one. Uh, newspapers. Oh, what? When were we doing? Number 70, I think? Was that it? No, it was not number 70. Let me see which one it was. Yeah, New Hanover Gazette, number 36, I think. Murderous Indian breaks free. Yeah. 
spears and the grip an outlaw gangs who must stop them okay prominent yale scientist speaks out mixing of races discouraged Ugh, i'm gonna vomit at this aren't i american society at risk noted yale anthropologist harold mcdougall author of the book Ugh, the scourge of crossbreeding presented a paper to his colleagues at a symposium last week, reminding fellow scientists that some races are predisposed to create higher functioning societies than others. The paper titled Savage Minds, the racial continuum between animal and God has created a stir among the, amongst those in anthropological community. It is clear to me that some societies advance taming agricultures, mastering letters and literature, inventing fantastical things such as the phonograph or electricity while others wallow in squalor, scarcely able to feed and clothe themselves. It comes down to the nature of the savage soul. Savages cannot construct buildings that rise to the heavens, but we have, McDougall said in an agitated and excited manner. The professor of anthropology at Yale has dedicated his academic focus to the study of race and civilization. His paper was soundly thrashed by his colleague Benjamin Fortescue, who asserted that McDougall has no empirical evidence to support his wild claims, and he just sounds like a horrible person. You know what word I'm thinking of. Ugh. Anyway, why widow wife? <laughs> Widow's life savings chewed up by rats? Myrtle Snodgrass awoke one January night recently and moved softly from the bedside to the fireplace, which had succumbed to embers. She heard a sound unlike that of the cows baying in the distance, her hound Jesse prancing in his sleep, or the wind through the chimney as the fire burned down. The sound was one of chewing. Oh no. <laughs> the widow had spent long days and nights in her home with an eerie fascination in the dead silence of the night as if punctured by the howl of a distant coyote or owl. For years, the widow had collected her fortune, a vocal skeptic of banks and their frequent failings. Her bank notes were always squirreled away, far from the prying eyes of friends or family. As, he, as she searched her home for the source of the sound, she, full of dread, lifted the floorboard where she had stored her years of earnings, only to find a rat's nest made cozy in the chewed up remains of her savings, a total of $250 in bank notes and bonds. You would think you would put it in a secure case, like something made of metal that a rat couldn't get into. Because, like, what about water? Or, you know, Poor silly lady. Electric washing machine invented. Mothers cheer. Washboards are relics. Everyday mothers toil over the washboard, cleaning the dungarees, bloomers, and britches, and keeping their households happy. However, a new invention out of Chicago promises to make that a thing of the past. The Hathaway Machine Company has announced the invention of a washing machine run by electricity. Clothes are placed in a drum-type cavern that is galvanized. This perforated cylinder contains blades that lift the clothing as it rotates. The new machines are expected to be sold through the Wheeler and Rawson catalog as of next year. Drying the clothes, however, still requires a clothesline strung outside or a mangle. What is a mangle? Okay, last one. Curse of Valentine, a haunting spectacle. The town of Valentine has reported many strange sights and sounds in recent years, and residents speak of a curse that has fallen on the area. Really? Spectral canoes have been seen on the water and the cries of mourning Indian mothers have been heard at night. At other times, usually on windy starlit evenings, piercing cries are heard from the distance. Residents claim this is due to the Indian family murdered years ago with a treasure they had found. The reports are uncanny yet come from several sources and the prevalence of Indian artifacts around the town has only increased the locals' excitability. Okay, well, let me put this away. And let's finish heading to Beaver, not Beaver, get yeah, Beaver Hollow, Beaver Creek, Beaver Hollow. What, you know, one of those two. But I will, I will meet you there as I get closer because I would like to check in with everybody post this very depressing quest mission thing. Who's that a coming? Hey, boys. Too. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I 
was just hey. trying to get back to camp. And I'm nearly there. Let me take some more food for Arthur. Let me save. Just in case something else horrible yeah. happens along the way. Whoa, whoa, why? What? This is not the direction. Thank you. <laughs> Still not Wednesday. He's like, nope, we're going up here. We're not going back to camp. Only bad things will happen if we go there. <laughs> I still can't believe Dutch Easy left Arthur. Boy. Hey! Who's there? It's just Arthur, me. Dumbass. Yeah. Hope you had a good old time while I've been stuck standing here. Ugh, all all like all you guys are just horrible. Mike is just standing over there waiting for me to come back and cause trouble. Are you gonna park? Eventually, maybe. There we go. All right, let's start with Micah and his awful self. Why don't you and your pals just get out of here? Yeah. We got the train job coming up, Morgan. The big one. The big one. Yeah. Hi, Tilly. Can I talk to you a second? Sure. Yeah. I'm just so worried about Karen, Arthur. Why? You know why. She's going to kill herself when she hits the liquor. Mm-hmm. Sure, but... But I guess that's her choice. <sighs> I'll try speaking with her. Thanks, Arthur. I'll try, too. But... We both know it won't work. We can try. That's all we can do, is try. Okay, let's see. Um, no Mr. Pearson over there. Uh, there's Abigail. I spoke to John. John? We're working it out. I know. Just be careful. You too. You gonna say something, hey, Javier? John. Okay, she's burning up there. There's Miss Grimshaw. <sighs> Arthur. Miss Grimshaw. Um, I don't see Karen anywhere. There's Javier. Hi, Arthur. Hey. Hard to believe it's come to this. We gotta stay behind Dutch. That's the only way. It's not the only way. It's really, really not the only way. About this. Gang. You don't give a damn about nothing but yourself. Dutch will see through you soon enough. I'll see to that. Yeah, I feel like he's extremely manipulative. What an idiot. He just gets under my skin. Mine too. Well, you're giving him what he wants then. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Take care. Where is Karen? Um, no, oh, there's Tilly. Tilly, where is Karen? I can't talk to her if I can't find her. And where's Pearson? And Uncle? Is everybody just, did everybody just leave? I don't want to get too close to Dutch because I, 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 I'm not going to start his mission today because clearly not enough time to get anywhere in it. You know, I'd be dead in that factory if it weren't for Eagle Flies. And I feel like Dutch saw and didn't do nothing. He didn't do anything. You gotta just look out for yourself now, Arthur. I mean, I could be wrong. <sighs> it all happened so fast. You're not wrong. You're not. Not at all. Okay. Guess I'll leave you to it then. Okay, Arthur. Anything else, John? You have a, a gun coming out of your hand. Or is that a stick? You know what? It's fine. There's Jack. And yeah. 
You do what your mom tells you, okay? Of course, Uncle Arthur. We'll all be getting out of here very soon. Huh. Aaron's usually like, over here passed out or something. And she's not here. Okay, well, um, I, I let me go back my bag and let's actually finish reading the newspaper and then that will be off of my to-do list and I won't need to do that uh, tomorrow. So it was New Hanover Gazette number 30, maybe, 36. I can't handle much more of it. Me and Dutch are working on it. Like they're talking, dang it. <laughs> they're having conversations and I want to hear them, but I get distracted from reading my newspaper because I want to hear them. And okay, let's just, let's just focus, focus this one. And then we read and then we left off here. Oh, the last one, Art of Angling by Jeremy Gill. Perch, I consider myself a fisher of man as much as a fisherman. It's as trouble brews in Europe and all this nasty business unfolds in Spain. I, I was asked by the president to tour over there and unite nations by bringing the great leaders together through reigniting a faculty that lies dormant in most men fishing. We're going to stop war by fishing. I mean, it's highly unlikely, but it'd be nice, right? Anyway, trapped in palaces and attending functions deprives a man of his instinct for self-preservation and joy. Normally, I plan on teaching confused and lost heads of state to catch perch. Small, easy to catch, and tasty. Any inbred dullard or pompous windbag worth his seat can hoist one into a boat with a worm. A sunny day, a grog of ale, and a stranger full of perch will alleviate the world's, the world's weight on one's shoulders. Be well, be wise, and be lucky. Okay. That, that is the end of that newspaper. Hopefully I can get another one when we no doubt progress into the next chapter because I feel like that is coming soon. So tomorrow we will begin Dutch's mission over here. Not Hopefully. Fearing, Arthur. Hi. Hopefully I can find my other campmates tomorrow, but I don't think that's likely. Maybe after the next mission, they pop back up. So as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Red Dead Redemption 2 video.